yesterday afternoon. Most of that water was going inside the gutter. So it was curling around the nose just as it would. It is 24 hours later uh, and I came back outside because yesterday the sun was out in force. Really did a pretty effective job of melting a lot of the snow off the roof. So I wasn't sure how long that was going to take and as it turned out it didn't take that long. But uh, what did transpire overnight is as everything cooled back down and right now as an example it's 25 degrees. I would guess yesterday it was probably pretty similar, maybe a smidge warmer than that. Um, what happened is that everything refroze last night. So that water that worked its way down off the roof, and as you can see, there is still some snow up on the roof, but a lot of that has melted off. And what's left up there, before yesterday, there were probably about two inches of snow on the roof. Uh, as you can see now, you can kind of see the, the black um, shingles or, or the ripples of the shingles through the snow. So most of that has melted off. But what you can see behind me here is some of the little uh, ice that has formed on the gutter guard as well as on the edge of the gutters. So stay tuned and I'll, I'll give you a little bit more information about that. And uh, that will uh, hopefully give you the perspective of what I began to talk about yesterday. Here we're looking at Master Shield. So of all the systems on the south side of the garage, this one has the most remaining snow and ice sitting on top of it. And in other words, the percentage of the screen that's showing is, uh, is less than what the other ones are at this point. Uh, we also have an indication of, of the formation of what appears to be three icicles. So when I was up here yesterday, the snow was mostly towards the front um, of that, where you see the white metal there. And then we have these little bits of leaves in the drip edge. So I said, you know, any of the water that, that um, was kind of at the front and doesn't go through the weep holes where those leaves are, might come over the top and then drip off the front, off that drip edge. And that's exactly what you're seeing. So there's a spot here to the right a spot kind of in the middle and then there's a spot at the end you can just see a little tiny icicle that has formed there so uh, as we saw earlier in the video when the Sun was out the temperatures were a little bit warmer um, a lot of the, the water that was coming down in fact all the water that was coming down at that point was in fact going through the downspout but overnight as things froze up a little bit you had some of that water that was coming over the uh, the edge there to that drip edge and then dropping to the ground and it just froze and uh, we've got just some little tiny wouldn't even really call those icicles at the moment but um, certainly they're on their way to, to forming if if that pattern continued off the screen and onto the uh, the drip edge there this is leaf filter on the south side of the garage. Uh, you can see a lot of the snow has melted. So as I showed previously, when I pulled away the, the snow that was right here in the middle, uh, there was a cavity back behind the snow. So essentially the, the snow had worked its way across at the same pitch as the roof. And it, and it kept a cavity on the back side. So where you can see the debris and the plastic uh, and just the the opening there that is uh, that area was never really covered up with snow so most of that snow was concentrated on top of the screen itself and as you can see the screen um, you know other than what's still sitting on top of it which is uh, some snow and that slush yesterday as it cooled down turned back into ice it's reformed on top of there as, as a layer of ice but you did see the water coming through the screen and coming out the downspout. So currently there's no water droplets that made its way to the front edge of the gutter guard, the, the plastic bit here in the front where the drip edge is. No ice, no water, 
no icicles have formed on top of that so the fact that it's flat and there is stuff still sitting on top of it as the water uh, or as the snow melts as the ice melts then most of that should just turn in the water and go right through the gutter screen which is what you want here we're looking at leaf lock on the south side of the garage this is uh, 24 hours later and what you can see is a lot of the screen is now exposed so uh, previously there was snow going across the majority of this as the day wore on some of that wore away melted away and the water went through the downspout so a fair bit of the screen is now exposed I would say you know roughly half of it uh, the spot in the middle where it's been pulled out that's where I, I pulled the snow away to kind of expose the screen yesterday but what's interesting here is you can see a little bit of that water has reformed as ice as it worked across the face of the gutter guard so kind of in these spots where you see these streaks so that's actually water that has reformed as ice uh, either below the screen or on top of the screen so most of it actually looks like it's below the screen here's a couple examples right here and kind of over here those are pretty fat water droplets that reformed as ice but it's actually inside the gutter guard so what you don't see you do see a little bit of ice you know here on the screen but what you don't see is any water that dripped over or turned into ice and has dripped over the top edge of the gutter guard. So that's actually a good sign. And what we tell folks is because this screen has a ribbing in it, uh, that ribbing acts as a water channel and the water does follow that, that channel forward, hits an inside flange, and then it redirects it into the gutter. So this is a pretty good uh, indication of how that actually works since it it was following the channel before it froze and then it froze in place. Here we're looking at the Gutter Glove Pro system. This is um, a very fine micro mesh screen. A lot of the, the gunk that you see sitting on top of there is just organic matter, shingle granules, uh, but the screen is fine enough that it's not gonna allow that stuff to get through it. So that's just the residue that's hanging on as the snow comes down and the water melts below the snow. It, it, brings a lot of that stuff off the roof and there it sits kind of as a it's been filtered out so to speak so most of the uh, most of the snow has melted off the top here you can see a little bit more over to the left uh, and you can see some water that has frozen here just sitting on top of the screen so I fully expect once the temperatures warm that water will just drip through the uh, gutter guard screen and into the gutter below. There is no water dripping off the front edge of this currently. Here we're looking at the diamond mesh screen. So this system yesterday, there was a, a, a little run of uh, a screen that you could see below the snow, but the snow was still pretty much covering the screen. And now what we have is a formation of some of that, that water turned into ice and you can see how that water is working its way over the top of the edge. So you've got this little metal edge on the front, the screen gets inserted to that middle edge and the water has actually worked its way over top of the metal edge onto the gutter and is working its way down the face of the gutter. Now it's just happening in these three spots as you come across the screen, everything else looks like it's going inside the screen. So as, as this warms up, you, most of the water should go inside the screen. Now this has got a, a uh, setup on the screen where it's embossed. So you can actually see where the water has frozen kind of in the lower portion of that embossing. Um, and it, it's kind of happening across there here's another instance right here and so as things warm up that water should either drop through the embossing or drop through the screen or you may have a situation where some of it drips over the top uh, the other thing that we saw yesterday was we saw some moisture between the 
uh, gutter here and the lip, the, the metal bit going across the front. I don't see any of that currently happening, but that may have just uh, dissipated or, or recessed back into the gutter. This is leaf free, so if you recall earlier in the video, uh, it had snow that was sitting on top of the gutter guard surface. Uh, a portion of this was exposed, so maybe a third to a half of the gutter guard surface was exposed. The snow had melted off and there was uh, kind of a, a, a bead of water or a sheet of water that was slowly working its way forward. There were a couple drips happening down at the far right side and then there was a drip happening here on the left side of the gutter guard. So as the day went on the snow melted off the surface entirely and as you can see up above a lot of the snow that was on the roof also melted off. Um, so that allowed the water to skirt underneath the snow, work its way down. And when I last checked this yesterday afternoon, most of that water was going inside the gutter. So it was curling around the nose just as it would in the uh, warmer months and, and going inside the gutter. As the, um, as the temperatures dropped yesterday night, the water continued to uh, work its way off the asphalt shingles onto the gutter guard surface where it froze and then uh, you can see what's happened here. So um, essentially some of that water worked its way inside the gutter. Some of that water dripped off the face of the gutter guard at that nose where, where it curls around and then it hit the uh, edge of the gutter, worked its way down where again it froze into little icicles. So not much here but you know completely different than it was yesterday and it is consistent with what i've talked about uh, not only on the video um, earlier but with what we have seen over a course of time so this is the leaf free system uh, 24 hours after we looked at the um... just a recap here uh, we found that as the temperatures cooled so did the water that had come off the roof reformed as ice and we had a little bit of change in the gutter guards overnight so uh, I'm just gonna rank the systems based on what they look like today uh, this is not necessarily what they would look like any other day but this is how they look currently so the uh, best performing system up there would be the Gutter Glove Pro system. Had the least amount of snow sitting on top of it and really the least amount of ice. Uh, followed by Leaf Lock system. Was uh, also pretty well um, snow free and ice free. Then we had leaf filter, uh, had a fair bit of snow and ice sitting on top of it, but there were no signs of any water or ice forming on the edge. So that was a good, good thing. Uh, after that, we would have the uh, Master Shield. Master Shield still had some snow and ice sitting on top of the gutter screen. Also had a couple instances where water had worked its way over the front drip edge and was heading towards the ground. And then after that, we would have the diamond mesh screen. That one had uh, several instances of water coming over the front edge of the gutter guard onto the gutter. And then the worst performing uh, with the icicles is the leaf-free system, the solid gutter cover, where a lot of the water had dripped off the front edge of the gutter guard at the nose formed as ice on the gutter itself and was actually forming little icicles uh, as of today. So that is the conclusion of this portion of the test. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Now what's up there currently is going to have no impact, zero impact on the ability for this thing to work, but it's just interesting to note that throughout uh, the test period.